Hey peeps. It's also your major for. Let me tell you another story. A lot of people know me via the social media, some know me through the movies, and others know me via the radio. Either way, we started from somewhere. When I was active in the movies, there was this event I wish to share so you can learn, because there is always a moral for the lesson. There was an audition. The twin girls who organized this audition were my friends. Not both some friends, but I visit their house. They didn't know what I used to do for a living. They just know me as someone who does movies. I act, and that's it. They don't know I do anything else aside doing movies. So they called for audition. I came, I attended, devoid of them being my friends. It was business, so why not? I do business and I don't mix it with pleasure. Pleasure is the secondary thing. I came for the audition, I was auditioned, I caught a role. They were convinced, though one of the twin was the one who did the audition. We went home. That night, the other of the twin called at 2 a.m. in the midnight to say, Ijele, uh, did my sister tell you anything? I said, no. Did, didn't she tell you you are going to pay 25,000 Naira? I said, no, she didn't tell me. She said, very well, that uh, some other girl caught the same role and will be uh, is willing to pay 25,000 Naira so that she can feature. Or I can pay the money and then grab the role. I said, oh, I didn't prepare for this. It's Christmas. I have a lot. So, can we discuss this probably from next year? She, she said, okay, that, um, that's fine. Finally, long and short, the movie was shot. The humiliation in this story is, the next day it was a casting. People came forth. To, got, uh, to get their roles and get their scripts. So the, the director, whom was told I grabbed the role the previous day, insisted I redo the audition before him. And I did. He was convinced. But the 25,000 Naira became the end thing. And the second twin wasn't around when all these whole auditions were done. And she then insisted I redo the, the audition again a third time before her. And they didn't remember friendship. They didn't remember business as well. When I was called at the National Museum where we used to gather, I was told that one of the twins insisted I redo the audition in her presence. I said, oh, oh, I came. And she was talking to someone else. And in all these, they pretended as if we've never met, we don't know, we've never seen. I, 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 I liked it. It's business. And they don't joke with theirs. But here is the in thing. They didn't know I did anything else aside the movies. Finally, because I didn't pay, maybe, maybe, just maybe. The movie was shot without me, not minding that I got the role, not minding I did the audition serially in front of various people. Now it was time for the premiere of the movie and they were going for a radio tour so that they can grab people's attention to come for the premiere. Behold. It was, it was me sitting down in my studio on the console and going to interview them. They came inside Solid FM. They were shocked from their legs to their heads. The two, the two of them, the twin. It was as if they saw a ghost. Because prior before now, I visited them in their homes, but they didn't know I had something else doing for a living. They didn't know that 
Hokoko fong we jaya now among a gym near. They didn't know. It took them like a minute to regain consciousness and then be able to say good evening. They stifled a word as if talking was something wrong. Panyu gun se no no ka. Mane kwero maka haji li Bible fi chaike. Maka na I believe in karma. Ozu ozo ya mu. Behold. They sat down. And me and Mamati, we interviewed them. And they invited us for the premiere of the movie. And invited us in grand style. What's the moral of this story? Time changes yesterday. Because you're opportuned today, please do not take people for a ride. I could off their microphone and damn the consequences. I run the show at that time inside that live studio. So God is great and in his magnanimity, he never ever allows his own to be in shame. From thence, each time they saw me, <laughs> they knew it was something different. The day they met me in another place and where they never ever envis envisaged they were going to ever see me and the person called my name Ozzy <laughs> you could see shock in their heads I don't know why it's only the empty vessels that make a lot of noise they make so much noise there are some people who whom naturally do not make action there's always a lesson to learn from each of these stories. They know the levels day. Not minding their face that was bigger than mine. Not minding their extent at which they've arrived in the movie industry. Now they quite believed that there are places where they cannot penetrate without the same person that they kicked when it was their time to help. I told them before them on that audition day, I say, Oh, if you not film, you can't In fact, you can't And I meant it. What's the moral to the lesson again? Treat people well. I, I think a lot that has happened in my life over time has kept me going. And that's why the poor of the poorest are the people I carry along, not minding the wealthiest that I know. That's the word. So guys, I hope you learned something today. Like I said, I could have as well shut down the microphone on the both of them and we will do the interview for an hour and they will not know that their voices were not heard over the airwaves. I could do that. I could. But it could seem hankari. Hankari. Hankari levels day. And they quite agreed that levels day. Salutation will be love, guys. Because if they remembered friendship, they will not toss me around on an audition ground, not minding my relationship with them. They will not play with me as if they've never known me before. They will not ridicule me in front of other artists. 
because they wanted to do a movie. They will not call me at 2 a.m. saying I must pay 25,000 Naira before I can get a role in their movie. 25,000 Naira. Hi. And why if you name me? Why if you On my own. I don't give people two car on my own. And we're on my go, but then you go mad. You go moto. On my own. Little by little, I will keep on folding things for you all. Gunwe malo the level made in Fugolo, the kind of humiliation that one has seen, the trajectory of one's rise. Gunwe fukaiho wasiade. We fu wana ako kante. Nobody knows what tomorrow holds. Treat people well, and that's the moral of the story. God bless you guys. See you when next I remember something else. But for now, let's go to the radio and discuss people who are misers. Madi batan we go mano polo no yasi. Oye he ni mu mu ye ifo aria chop. Those are the people I want to talk to this evening. Five to six p.m. on Solid One Hundred Point Nine FM with your girl Ozie Jiofo. I don't know if it's a gym or not. I don't know if you're a chair. See, you're going to be in it. I know how to say it. I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to So, guys, stay tuned. Be blessed. And I will see you in a GV. Just a very short while. Accordingly. I love you guys.